Brothers and sisters, that's a great privilege for each of us to have such a God to whom we can come with our petitions, our, our needs, our, our desires, and believe in him that he can understand us. Really often I come on this place in the morning to, to pray and I am stopped sometimes thinking, who is, who is to me? that I so boldly to come to him with my needs, with my, with my even feelings, and with my great desires for how many people to whom I can turn today with my needs. Usually, each of us, we have, we have strong, uh, solid door in our, in our house, and great, great secure key lock, and we have even cameras and some kind of security around our properties to, to be secure that all what I have belong just, just me and my family. And usually we are good for really uh, small amount of people around us, that our kids, few friends and maybe relatives, that's the, the circle of people that we are good to share some portion of, of our hearts, of our goods, maybe ma ma uh, money, and even with the good words. But who is God that we can, as you, as you saw right now, who is God who is willing, each of us, Tall and small, poor and, and rich, black and white, every nationality. Who is God? That, we, that, we, that he allows himself to come to him without, with, with our, not just desires, but without, with our mess sometimes. And sin Come to him, and he is willing to kneel his ear and to hear our petition and our prayer. That's the great privilege to have such a person, and that person is God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He, he, he offers his heart, his kindness and goodness toward us. He is willing to hear our prayer, to discern deeply in our thoughts and find out our personality and, and he is willing to help us and heal us. Uh, Psalm 125. Yesterday I read a lot of, uh, I, I like to read Bible and like to pray and I was looking for word for, for this morning. And when I read, 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 and I stopped on this, on this 125 Psalm. Those who trust in, in the Lord are like Mount, Mount Zion, which cannot be moved but abides forever. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people for this time forth and forevermore. For the, for the scepter of the wickedness cannot rest on the land allotted to the righteous. Let the righteous stretch out their hands to, the, to do wrong. Such, such, a great, such a great promise over here. Those who trust is in the Lord. God allowed himself to be trusted. We, we can trust in the Lord. And that trust is 
so much rewardable, rewardable. That's reward of trusting is as a mountain. Brothers and sisters, great privilege to be Christian, to be child of God, sons and daughters. And God promised to us that when we have a relationship, a relationship with him, and when as a children trust their parents, so we can trust him, and this trust can make us as a mountain. In our, in, in our sicknesses, in our diseases, suffering, sometimes sometime maybe torture during the night, in sleeplessness, and uh, maybe in poverty, maybe in stress, depression, in different our issue, issues of life, God stretched his hand, his kindness and his goodness. And he, and he said, if you trust me, through your trust in me, in your belief in me, you can suck, you can receive from me things which can, be, which can become so big and you can be as a mountain. Your life will be not small. You will be not insignificant. You will be blessed in, in your trust to me. Your life can, be, be, can, can become as a mountain. Amen. This morning, when we come right now, and we are witness, witnessing the things of God, what God doing today, as, as, he pro, as he promised in the last day, he will pour out his spirit. And what he is doing today, I believe, maybe never in whole history, through the ages of church, such a movement of the Holy Spirit wasn't right, right, like right now. Uh, maybe God created many miracles through the ages, but they are uh, they they was invisible for such a uh, multi multitudes as as is possible today through the through TV and internet. It's possible for each of us. Doesn't matter what church we are going. Maybe there is not spiritual church, but when you leave your church, you come home. You, can, you have uh, access to, to, to the internet and you can easily to be connected many various places where God's goodness, God's power and his anointing today can prove his, his reality, his goodness, which is availab available for each of us and our trust in him. That's so important when we when we came today to pray, and in every, every, every Sunday, every Wednesday, during the worship time, we pray for salvation of people because we believe where soul is saved, many miracles following. Uh, deliverance, healing, breakthrough, many, many things. And major, main miracle, this is salvation of souls. But today, we have special special service when we pray for sick people and pray uh, for for people who is in bondage and for us really important really important to position ourselves to to have right orientation focus i am not insig insignificant person i am i am mountain in the god how god see me how he wants to me to be, he wants that I could be a mountain, a Zion. Those who trust is in the Lord are like Mount, uh, Mount Zion, which cannot be moved. 
our trust in what we trust. We can trust in small things. These small things not exist yet in the visible uh, world, but we believe, we trust, and that can happen. It's better for us to take the step bigger. If God promised for us, this is not, we did not choose him. He chose us. He stretched his goodness. He offered he offer himself. Why we will limit ourselves and take for ourselves small things if, if he promised mountain? That's he said over here. And later he said, uh, for, 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 the set, uh, set, for the scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous. Let the righteous stretch, stretch, our, uh, th stretch out their, their hands to, the, and to do wrong. God himself worries in case of of our shortage, our sickness, our diseases, suffering, tort in case where case not sold, that we not run in different direction. He he wants spare ourselves around himself, and he promised if you trust in him, your life, your case, your destiny will be as a mountain. That's how we have to see ourselves. And later he says, as the mountains around Jerusalem, so God around his people from this time and forevermore. Amen. When we receive that revelation, we can establish this understanding. These mountains, as the mountains stands Around, uh, around Jerusalem, God promised for us. He will put. He will give. He gave for us promises around our lives, and He puts His angels, Holy Spirit, blood of Jesus Christ. He is suffering on a cross. A lot of uh, big armor. When we can be protected, when when we can be blessed, and later and later. Later, the uh, Bible uh, showed for us about scepter of wickedness. That scepter of wickedness belonged to the... When we talk about scepter, we understand rulership, kingship, uh, dictatorship some, sometimes, uh, king of this world, and his scepter dictate and make commands his servants, demons, unclean spirits. As, as a, in, in time of Job, his family, devil, with his scepter, came, came in presence of God and he asked him permission to allow, he asked God, but allow me to stretch my hand, my scepter, uh, on, the, on the house of Job. And he did. When he stretched and he wanted that, that scepter will be rested. And many people, friends, friends of Job, his wife, and many of them, they just yielded and said, this scepter, we, we don't have choice, will rest. But Job refused, and, in, and he said, this scepter will not have rest on my land, because my land is allotted for righteous people. I am righteous in Christ. Yes. Scepter of wickedness today are, are rested on many, many Thousands, millions of destinies, life, and youth, and marriages, and families, and businesses, and many, many places. These devil, demonic spirits, Satan today put his scepter 
of defeat, failure, and diseases, many kinds, skin diseases, bone diseases, blood diseases, uh, these diseases, nerve diseases, any kind. He, he put his scepter and nobody can remove it. And the scepter just rested there. But God gave for us promise. If we trouble this scepter, if we will not give him rest, that, that scepter cannot rest on a land which is a lot allotted to the righteous. And uh, our land can be troubled today in this world with this scepter. And God cares not, for our, not only for our soul, uh, not just only for our health, but God cares for our land, which he allotted himself, each of us. Right now, when we come to prayer, let's pos position ourselves. I trust in the Lord. Amen. And he promised to me, make my life as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved. Amen. And that's it. Everything will be moved. Amen. Everything is, uh, is movable. But mounting of God's blessing, God's anointing, God's presence, God's angels, His protection is as a mountain and cannot be moved. I am movable in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. And He promised for us from this time and forevermore. He surrounds us as the mountains around Jerusalem. He put his promises around our life. And we cannot be moved. We will be blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And scepter of wickedness cannot be rested. Cannot be... And right now, when we come to prayer, let's, let's confess all these things. I am mountain of Zion. I am surrounding, surrounded by the mountains as Jerusalem, surrounded by the mountains. God surround me. And devil cannot break that fence, this, def this defense. And let's, what devil wicked one his scepter when he stretched his foot his hand on my land i trouble this scepter i will be troubled right now by the fire of the holy ghost i will trouble a, with, with the with the uh, word of god with all armor of god and nothing can cling to my land my land belong to God. My land belong to, to righteous people. I am righteous in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. 